the Shaolin Ying Shu pole form. Initial position with an inverted grip, right arm horizontal. With momentum from the foot, turn the pole and catch it horizontally. Turn the pole, assume the forward position. Turn the pole forward and strike upwards with the end, horse stance. Go forward one step left and strike upwards with the other end and strike up again. Turn the pole and jump, striking the ground. Change to the forward position and pull the pole back somewhat. Low stance and block with the midsection. Pole at the hip and kick forward. Turn the body into the forward position and strike sideways horizontally. Rotate above the head and strike to the side horizontally. Turn the pole a few times and go into the low stance. Repetition of the last movements from the opposite direction. Side kick. Step forward and block with the midsection. Change to the forward position and strike downwards with the end of the pole. Two steps forward, jump, evade, and strike the ground. Forward position and a strike to the right. Forward position and a strike to the left. Forward position and a strike from top to bottom. Change grip and strike down with the pole tip. Pull the pole back. Jump forward, striking the pole forward. Pull in the right leg and strike with the other end of the pole. Repetition from the opposite direction. Spring into the horse stance and strike from top to bottom. Sweep to the left, sweep to the right. Rotate the pole once more and strike the ground with the butt of the pole. Turn the body and strike down the middle. Strike up and kick forward simultaneously. Assume the horse stance and complete the form with a loud scream. Lower the pole and return to the initial position. And now the entire pole form at normal speed. The pole is called the ancestral father of all weapons. It is the oldest weapon of the Shaolin monks. A broad surface is covered attacking. The momentum of the techniques comes from the entire body. The rhythm of the form is quick, and the movements should follow one another quickly. The pole is used with both ends. There are striking, hitting, sweeping, and blocking movements. The pole should be turned roughly in the middle. This increases the force of the technique. <laughs>